And we have been looking at what people actually know about the world and we started measuring that. And to our frustration, we see that people know so very, very little. Yes. And when we say people, it's the general public in 14 countries. We run polls with the Ipsos yeah. Mori and others to see what they know, not not their opinions, but the facts. So we ask questions like, Here we go. which are in Now the book. I've tried, because it's hard if you're interviewing someone, ordinarily you would read their book, but I know that you like to spring these surprises on, on presenters and people interviewing you. So okay. I, I have tried to stay ignorant on what That's you're great. about. That's <laughs> great. Let's see how ignorant you are. Uh, That's a so challenge. Fact, fact question number one. In all low-income countries across the world today, how many girls finish primary school? And I give you A, B, C, three alternatives. Yes. A, is it 20% of girls? B, 40%? C, 60%. Hand on heart, I would say 20%, but I know that that's going to be wrong because otherwise you wouldn't be asking me the question. Ah. So, I, so you're, <laughs> you're actually a little bit intelligent as well. That's, that's great oh, let's to not hear. get carried away. Oh, no. <laughs> so let me just ask one follow-up question, which yes. is interesting. What percent of humanity do you think live in so-called low-income countries? 50, 60. Okay. So this book is all about humility and curiosity. How can you be so damn wrong? <laughs> You're not special, though. This is more like a visual illusion. Mm -hmm. If you have a sight problem, you get glasses, which yes. are customized for you or specialized for you. But when you see a visual illusion that everybody see wrong, you, you're awed by curiosity, saying, how can we see this picture wrongly? You know, the visual illusions. Okay, let me give you the correct fact. 9% mm. of humanity live in low-income countries. You said 50. Yeah. The circumstances there is that 60% of girls finish primary school in these few countries called low income. So the countries that are at the bottom of the mm. scale yes, you thought have that was a 60% success yes. rate for the children. The thing is that you answered exactly like the majority in all countries we have a, a question. And not only the majority of the general public, we have asked journalists, we went to the World Economic Forum at Davos, we checked their knowledge, and we've been to the fanciest academic conferences like where the Nobel laureates means, uh, meets mm. the biomedicine researchers, and they score worse uh, than, uh, let me compare it with chimpanzees because these are all ABC questions. Oh, so you can just push a button yeah, the chimp, randomly. The chimp get every third right. So yes, when we course. ask 12 questions <laughs> to the chimps, they get four points, okay? Yes. The humans on average get two. <laughs> the humbleness here, the humbleness here is, instead of being ashamed when you're wrong, hmm. when 90% of people are wrong, worse than random, it means you shouldn't be ashamed, you should ask the curious question, how is this possible? How do we feed ourselves with a false worldview on, on such a systematic basis? And we don't know that we don't know. And the whole idea with this book is to actually give people some kind of a handbook. Mm. So you can actually, it's not thought of as a like very academic prestigious book, even though it's full of facts. Oh, it's incredibly but accessible. It, yes, I mean, that, but our idea is that it's something that everyone actually should be able to read. And we're hoping that afterwards you will go back to it more like a handbook. So that it can keep, uh, so that you can keep uh, seeing the news around you, without being so uh, take, driven away.